Thank you for your invitation, ladies and gentlemen. A comparison of long-term outcome after endovascular treatment versus bypass surgery in critical limb ischemia with long femoroboetial lesion. Disclosure, I don't have any potential conflict of interest. Uh, this is a study which is a um, uh, cooperation between Enshams University Hospital and the Clinic Center of Serbia in Belgrade, two center studies. Background revascularization is mandatory to achieve limb salvage in critical limb ischemic patients. There are recent upgrades in endovascular technology and improved operative skills. Endoferris is an option, especially for older and fragile patients. The evident early advantage of an endovascular approach seems to be limited by the significant instance of failure and re-intervention on a long-term basis. The aim of this study is to compare short and long-term outcome between angioplasty and open surgical bypass in patients with critical limb threatening ischemia with long femoropobletial lesion, class grade three and four. Class three means we have total length SFA occlusion more than two thirds of length or CTO uh, flush occlusion of the SFA or pobletial stenosis, two to five centimeter, not evolving trifurcation. Glass four means we have total length SFA occlusion more than 20 centimeter, pobletial disease uh, five centi or extending in the trifurcation, any pobletial CTO. Type of the study, a retrospective cohort review study of all consecutive patients who were followed prospectively with critical limb ischemia undergoing various time lower limb extremity intervention. Center of the study, Enchance University Hospital and Clinic Center of Serbia, Belgrade. Duration, duration be six years between uh, 2012 and 2018. Number of the patients, we have the uh, total number, uh, 1,369. And after population score matching, each group will be uh, 235. Inclusion criteria, critical limb ischemia with glass um, three or four, various intervention, exclusion, patient who had previous intervention, received hypertherapy, refused to participate in the study, severe diabetic food infection that rendered limb salvageable, acute ischemia, non-allergy to medications. Primary endpoint, freedom from re-intervention, major amputation. Secondary endpoint, all hospital complication. So we have uh, collected patients in the two center study in the six years, um, excluded that not meet the criteria, 176, and we have uh, two group bypass endovascular after Bobrinsky score system matching system one to one, we have each group 235. We collected the demographic finding uh, age, gender, and risk factors as a classification to assist surgical high risk patients, Wi-Fi classification for the wound, and a geographic based on the glass classification. We underwent uh, um, endovascular angioplasty uh, uh, was under local anesthesia while open surgery under regional anesthesia. Uh, drug using balloons uh, in the most cases of the endovascular, stenting 66%, uh, it wasn't uh, uh, primary stenting. And uh, open surgery, uh, the most group were uh, balloon by using veins. Results. We have uh, more complication with the open group related to wound seroma and infection and unplanned hemodialysis, but there are no significant difference between both groups um, as regards the major amputation. Initial procedure success was higher in open group. Overall complication uh, was significantly higher in open uh, surgery bypass group, especially wound infection, prolonged hospitalization, wound seroma, and allogenic blood transfusion. There was no significant difference in the early, in the term of the early major amputation rate or mortality, or 30 day any hospital readmission rate. So freedom from re-intervention endovascular versus bypass, it is higher for open, bypass. Freedom from re-intervention in bypass in using veins versus prosthetic, it is higher for vein bypass. Freedom from re-intervention in endovascular drug eluting therapy versus pain old balloon angioplasty, it is higher for drug eluting therapy. Freedom from re-intervention in the vascular stent in comparison with booba, brain, uh, old balloon angioplasty, it is higher for stents. Freedom from major amputation in the vascular bypass uh, versus bypass, it is higher for open bypass. Freedom of major amputation in bypass veins versus prosthetic, it is higher for vein bypass. 
freedom from major amputation in comparison endovascular between drug eluting therapy and plain balloon angioplasty is high for drug eluting therapy. Freedom of major amputation in endovascular in comparison between stent and Time. Uh, uh, I need one minute, please. You, you could conclude the. Uh, we have only three or four slides, not more one minute. Uh, Dr. Amr, uh, this is a retrospective study. Yes. Between uh, Ain Shams and Serbia. Yeah. Uh, how could you guarantee the uh, retrospective study? done in two centers to be standardized and the results will be uh, significant or to be taken in consideration. Uh, we make a spreadsheet uh, containing uh, specific points and we have collected data among this spreadsheet and then uh, doing an uh, statistical analysis between them. Uh, so uh, uh, it was a data collection uh, in their uh, system, and it was my uh, uh, MD study uh, research. So we merged the both data according to spreadsheet and making statistical analysis. The treatment in this study was based on uh, uh, surgeon preference what the, what to, to either group, either uh, surgical or endovascular. Uh, can you repeat the, the question, please? the decision to either endovascular or bypass surgery. It is, it is mainly... It is randomized or based on surgic, surgeon yes, preference. Yes, and uh, the, uh, the general ability in this uh, study that uh, if we have uh, uh, patient surgical fit for anesthesia and we have vein, so he'll, he's going to do uh, bypass using vein, uh, saphenous reversing vein. Uh, but if the patient is old, fragile, surgical, high risk, uh, we are doing endo, uh, endovascular first. Uh, last question. Uh, more than 50% of the patients uh, were diabetics. Mm -hmm. And the fallacies of ankle brachial index is another limitation or limiting factor. Mm -hmm. hmm. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.